picture of a person. A self-portrait is a picture that the artist paints of him or herself. Last time you collected things that represented you. Today, we're going to draw a head-to-shoulder portrait of yourself. And the first part of that is making sure that we put everything in exactly the right place. Everybody has different looking body parts, but all body parts are in roughly the same spot. So let's start with our head. Put your hand up to your face and notice how much of your face it covers. Notice that if you line up your palm with your chin, your fingers go all the way to your eyebrows. If you spread out your pinky and your thumb, they touch your cheekbones on either side of your head. So put your hand down on your paper and lightly draw a box around your hand. You're going to draw lightly because we're going to erase this line, so don't press down too hard. Your hand should fit inside that box. Now, line up the bottom of your palm along your eyebrows and make a fist. Notice that your knuckles touch around where your hair starts. So go back to that first box you drew Line up the bottom of your palm with the top of the box and draw another box on top of the first box. Your fist should fit inside of this box. These two boxes together are how big your face should be. Now, take your fingers and feel around the outside of your face. Notice things about it. Do you have a pointy chin? Soft cheeks? Is your face round? Draw the outside of your face, starting by making the top of your head start at the very top of those two rectangles. You're going to make it as wide as the side of the rectangles and your chin is going to touch the bottom. Once you've drawn it, add in those details that you felt. Make your face round or pointy or however it seemed when you touched it. As you're working, go ahead and erase the box. We don't need it anymore. hand back up on your face. Notice that your fingers touch your eyebrows. So if we go to the drawing that we've been working on, you know that that line crossing the middle of your face is the box that you drew around your hand. So you can put your eyebrows at the top of that line because that's where your fingers ended. Now feel your nose. What's it connected to? your eyebrows. Notice how long it is. It takes up a lot of our face. So you're gonna draw connecting lines to those eyebrows and make them nice and long. Then you're gonna top them off with a line that shows what kind of nose do you have. Is it pointed, round, small, big? Trace around your lips with your fingers. Notice how your lips get bigger in the middle and kind of end in points at the corners of your mouth. Notice how wide your mouth is. Make a pretty long line to represent your mouth on your paper. Then go back in and add some fullness to the middle and make it disappear into points on, in the edges. If you smile a lot, you might also want to make yourself smile. It's easy to add your eyes. They're just right under the eyebrows to either side of the nose. But make sure you make them the right size. Do you have small eyes, big eyes? Do you have long lashes? Make eyes that look like your eyes. Now roll your head around your neck. Notice how sturdy your neck is. It has to be pretty thick to hold up such a giant head. When you draw your neck, you're gonna draw with two straight lines, but you wanna make sure that you draw it thick. If it's too thin, it would snap. Now, let's move on to our ears. Give them a tug. Notice how big and sturdy they are. Go ahead and give yourself some nice, big ears. And last but not least, you're going to draw your hair. Your hair starts right where you drew the top of your head, but it actually sticks out a little bit from there, so make sure you give it some space. Then think about where your hair lands on you. Does it touch your neck? Your shoulder? 
Is it short? Is it long? Is it straight? Is it curly? Once you have your hair drawn, you can go ahead and keep messing around with your portrait and adding details and editing and erasing until your portrait looks just like you.